little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Scary Disney Stories. So we are officially done with the uh, longer Disney stories, I think I had mentioned that in the final video. So today we are actually going to be looking at something called Nine Creepy Disney Park Legends You Should Know Before Planning Your Next Trip. So, I hope you guys enjoy these spooky Disney stories. For many, Disneyland and Walt Disney World are wonderful havens of magic and dreams for the whole family to enjoy. It is the perfect hyper-positive environment for vacation. However, it's understandable that some members of your family might not totally be on board for the ooey-gooey kissy hugginess of Disney. Maybe they prefer something a little... a little bleaker. Well, it seems that the brightest light casts the darkest shadow. Both Disney theme parks are riddled with creepy urban legend ghosts and ghouls that aren't just animatronics in the Haunted Mansion ride. Many cast members claim that after dark, the dolls in It's a Small World come to life, switching places or disappearing altogether. Ever since a male guest died in the 70s, cast members insist that his ghost happily hitches a ride on any empty rocket ship seats at Space Mountain in Disney World. Apparently, it is common for guests to scatter the ashes of loved ones on their favorite attractions. Popular resting places include Pirates of the Caribbean and, of course, the Haunted Mansion, the latter of which even sells urns to guests to discourage this behavior. In 2005, a four-year-old boy died on the on then brand-new Mission Space ride at Epcot. MS cast members claim to feel cold spots in the terminal where he died in. Sometimes the shuttle doors will close when they shouldn't. In 1999, the classic It's a Small World ride in Disneyland had to be evacuated for an undisclosed reason. Just before leaving the park, a mother snapped a couple of pictures to finish off the roll. When the pictures were developed, one showed the blurry image of a limp child hanging from the ceiling. Near the entrance in Disneyland, above the fire department, is Walt Disney's old private apartment. A custodial cast member went up there once to find the lamp turned on. She turned it off only to have the light turn right back on by itself. Whether this is a ghostly wish from Walt Disney himself or not, the park has decided to keep the light on at night. The Haunted Mansion in Disneyland is famously more silly than spooky, but there are a pair of ghosts that prefer the, the latter. In addition to the estimated 99 happy haunts in the house, there are also two boy ghosts who roam the halls, one who laughs and one who cries. Supposedly, a bellhop died of a heart attack while loading guests onto one of the platforms at the Tower of Terror in Disney's Hollywood Studios. It said his ghost still haunts the ride to this day, disturbing the vintage hotel artifacts. There once was a ride in Disney World's Tomorrowland called America Sings, featuring a gang of friendly animals singing America folk tunes and anthems. In 1974, cast member Deborah Stone got caught in between the revolving walls and perished. They say guests thought her death screams were all part of the show. Even though the ride closed, Deborah's ghost remains a prominent presence in the pavilion. And that is it, everybody, for today's nine spooky Disney stories. I hope you enjoyed them. They are short, and I know I have mentioned them here on this channel before, but honestly, I still love them, even though I've repeated probably most of those. They still send chills down my spine every time I read them or write them, and I definitely hope they're doing the same for you. So until tomorrow, I'll see you guys later. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe, and I love you guys.